Welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Today, guys, I'm going to talk about the Henry AR-7 Survival Rifle. A good friend of mine, Cam, let me borrow this rifle. He thought I might have a little bit of fun playing around with it, perhaps making a video about it. So that's what I'm doing for you today. It's a little windy. Hope it's not messing with the audio. If it is, I apologize. Now, I haven't had a chance to mess around with this gun. He showed me last night a little bit how it operates, but I myself haven't had a chance yet to do that. I'm gonna share it with you. So let me get the gun. Here it is inside of this Yeah, that's right. There's a rifle in a laptop bag. Well, how can that be, Arabin, you ask? Simple. Here you go. This is it. And you'll see right there on the stock, it says U.S. Survival. On the butt there, you got Henry Firearms. You got their logo. And, uh, this is it. As you see it right here, it's only 16 and one half inches. And the cool thing about this, if I had this in a canoe or a kayak, let's say I'm going to go to an island and do some small game hunting, and I capsize, this floats. What other rifle do you know of? that will float. This one does. Alright, so let's get into it. You'll see this pistol grip is very fat and it gives you a good grip. Underneath here you'll see there's a wing nut. I'll tell you about that in just a minute. On the back of the butt you'll see there's some ridges here. That's just for you to grip so that when you, you can open up the butt of the gun, like that, take the butt off, and when you do, you look inside, you'll see all the other components of the rifle conveniently and efficiently tucked in there. Perfect fit. So let's just go through them. First thing, you got two magazines. All right, these are steel magazines that are eight round capacity, and you've got two of them. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that in just a moment. The next component you reach in here, simply pull it straight out, you've got your receiver. Okay, now the receiver and the barrel are made out of steel with a Teflon coating, okay? That helps with water and stuff like that. Um, so you'll see on the top of the receiver, there is a rail that you could put some type of optic, uh, rimfire scope, red dot, whatever. But keep in mind, if you do that, that optic is not going to fit in the butt. So you will no longer have everything confined in the stock of the gun. Also, on the receiver, you'll see there is a safety. So, the barrel and the receiver are steel with a Teflon coating. And the last component... See, that's all, is the barrel itself. You'll notice on the dangerous end that it does have a very bright orange, easy to see, adjustable sight. So you can adjust it left or right. All right? And then there you go. Now, let's put it together, okay? That's where this wing nut's going to come in. So we're going to start 
with the receiver or the bottom end. You'll notice right here there is a threaded hole. This wing nut, you'll see right there, there's a screw. That screw that I'm pushing in and out is going to go into the hole to hold the receiver to the stock. So basically what you do is you line it up like this. And I think one thing that's really cool, this is just a little feature, but if you look right here, you'll see this ridge. That ridge is continued in the receiver of the gun. So as long as you've got those ridges lined up, you'll know the receiver is in the right place. And when it is, you just reach down here, okay, and you tighten that wing nut. Let's see. Ten. Sixteen screws is what it took me to tighten that. Now you want to hand tighten it, but you don't want to over tighten it, okay? Just make sure it's nice and tight but don't over tighten it. You don't want to strip out any screws or anything. All right, so now that the receiver's in, next is the barrel. Now on the barrel, you notice there's a little dip right there, a little notch. And then on the top of the barrel, you'll see right here, there's a little metal and it just slips right perfectly in there now what you do when you got it lined up like that gently push down and then just simply start to screw this in how easy is this guys one thing you'll notice is there are no tools required whatsoever no special tools no screwdrivers hammers anything like that and again you want to hand tighten this but don't over tighten it. Now, we're ready to go. The charging mechanism here, okay? You'll see, right now it's nice and flush. And you're like, well, that's kind of hard to grip, to pull back on, to charge or cock the gun. No, all you gotta do, pull it out. Now you can get your finger on there. Boom, you're ready to go. All right? Now, let's talk about the magazines. Okay? Now, I told you that it comes with two. And inside the, the stock, there is room to store two magazines. But, you could purchase an extra one of these from Henry. And, uh, what you could do is you could put it in there with the magazine in the receiver like that the receiver will still fit in here so you could have three eight round magazines all stowed within the gun now once the magazine and you'll see these magazines are are empty and again as you can see we're not loaded okay but you'll see that the magazines they slide, slide in very easily no need to, like with an AR-15, no need to jam it in or anything like that. Now, right here, you'll see these teeth inside the trigger guard. That, okay, is your magazine release. Two ways you can do it. While your finger is inside the trigger guard, you can simply push forward on that and release the magazine that way. And these things pop out easy. See? All you gotta do, push forward on that, whoop, and there it goes. Another way you could do it, okay, if you don't like to have your finger in the finger guard like that, you could reach around with your other hand and with your thumb, release it that way, okay? So two ways to do the magazine release. Now, one thing that you'll notice, it does have a safety here, 
and again it, it says safety right there got an arrow pointing that way but if you notice the safety's not moving it will only move when the gun is cocked so now that it's cocked you can see you can push it back to safety up for fire back to safety up for fire it only operates when the gun is cocked all right so now that we've got it put together it's 31 and a half inches long and it weighs only three and a half pounds with that being said i'm going to load these magazines with some cci oh by the way it's chambered in 22 long rifle only okay and uh so i'm gonna load these magazines and then i'm gonna see if i can hit a target all right stick around guys All right, so now we're ready to go. We got it all assembled. All we gotta do, pull it back. Now that it's cocked, you can see the safety works. We're gonna see if we can hit that target right over there. And I have another camera that I will put down here so you can see as the shots hit. So, uh, we are cocked and ready to go. Let's see. Well, let's see if I can at least hit the target. Now my eyes aren't good enough to see if I even hit the target. So let's go up there and see if we did, all right? Uh, tell you what, maybe I should wear my glasses. I don't know. This is the very first time I've shot this gun too, okay? So no adjustments to the sight have been made. All right, well, I did hit the target. That's the good news. Uh... Basically, we got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five up here. A little bit of high right. Six, seven, eight. So I did get them all within this circle. Didn't get any here. So we're a, we're a little bit high and right for the most part. I don't know what happened with these two guys. But uh, let's give it one more try see if we can uh hone it in a little bit now that i know how it's shooting this uh sight up here you you uh i don't know if you can make any adjust it looks like you can make a little bit of adjustment yeah i'm sliding that over just a little bit just a tad so i can adjust and maybe get that back to the right some Let's see if we can make some adjustments based on that. Uh, moving that sight over a little bit. See if I can hit that red dot in the middle. All right, so first thing I need to do is get rid of that magazine. I got another one right here in my pocket. Simply put it in there. We're ready, locked and loaded. Let's see if I can do a little better this time, guys. All right, I don't know what happened. Let's see. All right, look, there we go. That adjustment got me right in here. 
So it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where did eight go? Oh, wow, way down there. That must have been my last shot. But yeah, this is much better. So being able to adjust that front sight over here, and then knowing that I was shooting high, I just shot a little bit lower, and uh, I'm pretty happy with that. And I think that with a little bit more practice with this gun, I could hone it in even more. All right, I want to thank my friend Cam so much for letting me have a little bit of fun with his rifle. I did look on the Henry website. Right now, they've got the MSRP on this rifle at 319 But I've heard rumors that you can find it sometimes different places in the $275 range. So, probably for under 300 bucks, you can pick this up. Now, let's take it, let's break it down, and I'll show you how easy it is to do that. Again, you just peel off the buttstock. Once you get the buttstock taken off, take your barrel, simply unscrew this, and keep turning it until your barrel pulls off. Then, you see a barrel slot. You see there's a little notch on the top. That's where the the sight goes, so it only fits in one way, so there's no confusion about how this fits in there. Now, for the receiver, again, this part on the bottom, there's a little wing nut. You just unscrew that. You want to hold on to the, uh, you want to hold on to the receiver if you're not doing this on a table. I should probably be doing it on a table. First of all, let me take this magazine out. Just unscrew the wing nut. I think it took 16 screws uh, to tighten it all the way, which isn't much. Very easy assembly. And as you can see, it pops out. And again, in the butt stock, this receiver will only fit in there one way. It just goes straight in there just like that no harm if I, then your magazines you could reload these if you want to I'm gonna shoot it a little bit more just for fun but again the magazines will only go in there one certain way so that they're nice and tight just as it should be and then once you get all that in there you just take your butt stop put it back on there you go. You take your book bag or whatever you're putting it in. You put it in. You zip it up. And now, you're ready to go. You know, this would fit in a backpack, a hunting bag. It would fit under the seat of a car. It would, it would fit in a boat, a kayak, a canoe. Just a great overall gun. Henry makes a great product. They've done a great job with this since they picked it up in 1980. And I'll tell you what, I'm thinking about getting one myself. Um, I know Cam's going to want his back, but uh, just what a fun little gun. I'd love to maybe take it out and do some squirrel hunting or some rabbit hunting. Uh, it'd be great for small game. Anyway, guys, till next time, keep calm, carry on and keep it outdoors.